Richard and has been out and about singing for quite a while now and um, has been known for his beautiful John Denver voice that we all love to hear when we see him out and about playing at different places. Now welcome Kevin. Thank you Sammy. Because Kevin did get out and about quite a bit last year to quite a few different places and sang in, around Australia at different places, wasn't that Kevin? Yep, sure. Um, I started doing a little bit of travelling uh, probably a bit over two years ago, um, basically to um, to catch up with some of the walk-up style music festivals, country music festivals that are fairly prevalent around the place, all the way from um, way up into Queensland right down into South Australia. I started out um, at a little, um, the final little bow uh, stampede actually down south of New South Wales. I went from there on down into South Australia and did a couple of festivals down the Flinders Ranges. Uh, from from there I've, I've been right up into southern Queensland and um, done a few festivals across the bottom of Queensland from the east right over to the west to Thargaminda. Um, really enjoy, enjoy my time away. Uh, last year I spent about 60% of my time away from home just wow. doing festivals. Oh well, that's great, that's really good. Um, so I'm, I'm sure you had an absolutely awesome time and um, so you got to travel out out, out, quite broad out there. That's so, right. Yep. Yeah, and so do you get just go in your car and off you go? I have a um, a four wheel drive with a, a what I call a tradies pod on the back, one of the fiberglass pods you see around the place. Um, I, I I kitted that out for camping with a little fridge and uh, storage and that in it, and also a, a bed. I lived out of that for probably two years, and I've recently um, bought a little camper trailer, that, which is in actual fact just a bed. Um, for my longer stays, so if I'm staying in one place for more than a few days, I set the camper up. Other than that, I don't bother taking a camper, I just sleep in the back of the truck. Yeah, wow, life of a musician, hey, a travelling <laughs> musician. <laughs> That's correct, <laughs> yep. No, it's all good fun, It's uh, and it's quite comfortable. I, uh, you know, I, I, I've got a little fridge that, that keeps me supplied for a week or so, and when I run out of food, I go visit the supermarket again. So yeah, it's, it's quite good. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. You can stock up as yeah, you go. Absolutely. Definitely. And um, it would have been really good for you um, to get out and about into all those places. You would have got to meet a, quite a lot of people too, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Some fabulous people. Um, you know, as you well know, Sammy, most of the um, the music that I play is country oriented. It's uh, and, and all the festivals that I go to mostly comprise of, of the Grey Nomads and uh, um, they're all <laughs> around about my village and a little bit older. Yep. <laughs> um, and yes, I've met um, and, and been invited to people's places from Western Australia down to Tasmania and up into Northern Queensland. Wow. Um, I've actually been and stayed with a couple of um, very lovely friends down in um, South Australia, uh, Christie's Beach. Uh, they uh, took me on the tour of um, of all the tourist places down there, uh, up in the Harndorf and, and the yeah. mountains and the wineries and so on. Uh, yeah, it's been, I haven't taken a lot of the people up on that on their offers of accommodation just yet because uh, I was pretty much tied around home for a little while. But It's so lovely to be out, out and, and see a bit of Australia on the way, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, last year I, uh, I went up to um, a little place called Crow's Nest, um, which is just west of Brisbane to their very first um, music festival that they yep. built and they did a great job at it, the people that ran it. And they've made a few changes this year because they they had their, their main artists show on for the night and it was bitterly cold. Oh, <laughs> so, well, that's no good. <laughs> so they've changed that this year and they're going to do it in the afternoon. So leave the leave the evenings free for people to sit around their campfires and enjoy themselves. Definitely, you and would we, have needed your thermals, oh that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, we went from there out to, way out west to uh, a place called Thargaminda, uh, which is very, very barren and dry at, at that time. Yeah. Uh, once again, it was their very first festival run by uh, Jed and Trudy Hinge, um, and they did a fantastic job too. It was a little bit of a different festival, but it was one that was pretty much backed by the local council. Now, the, um, <laughs> Judy, Judy may have had an inside running there because her brother was the local mayor. So, yeah. so, so that may have helped, but they made a tremendous amount of money and all of that money went back into the community. Oh, very yeah, good. Bought the local scouts uniforms and a whole heap of stuff that they did. So I'm oh, awesome. sincerely hoping that I can get back out to Thugger again 
uh, this year. Definitely. Yeah, that was a great show. Yeah, yeah and um, yeah, they do need need a bit of money raised out in the bush at the moment, and it is a bit dry out there. Yeah, absolutely. I, it has been. There, there was one little spot on the way out um, between Tanamala and, and Thagaminda that was brilliantly green, long grass, little puddles still on the side of the road, and evidently some time uh, previous to my travelling that road, they'd had a, a huge storm through there, but it was so um, concentrated, it was just a small area about 30 or 40 kilometres east of Thaga, uh, and then as soon as you got through right. that, it was dry again, <laughs> it, was, it was so strange to see, you know. Where did it come from, Ken? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, where did it come from? Was there little clouds that just hung over that bit? Yeah, yeah it was, it was odd. <laughs> yeah. But no, it, it's, uh, it's been great to uh, get around and see a, a bit of the country. The, the Flinders Range has really um, attracted me. I I was actually down there a little bit earlier than the festival was due to, to uh, happen, and I um, booked a camp spot up in the up in the Flinders Ranges for a few days, and went up there and camped by myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The only the only person <laughs> I saw for three or four days was the ranger who came to service the facilities. So, oh no. You know, but it was great. I, I just not scary you know, out there by yourself. No, it was great. I love. I love that. I, I'm quite comfortable um, in my own company, and yeah. Um, since my uh, wife passed a few years ago, I've, I've become a little bit more sociable. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you got to see lots of stars out there, oh, all by yourself. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Bit of time to reflect. Yeah. I uh, one one unfortunate thing about my trip up uh, trip up into the Flinders was I I left fairly early in the morning to get back into um, into Corn, and I drove through some absolutely glorious gullies. Um, but it was very misty, uh, so early, foggy, so early in the morning. So I really missed seeing this, the, the absolute splendour of those gorges. Oh, okay. So hopefully, I'm not real sure what's happening just yet. There's a few things in the, in the pipeline, but if I get back down there again this year, I'll, I'll try to uh, have, oh. a look, have a look through those gorges in the morning or during the day when there's no mist about. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And um, yeah, there's so many beautiful parts of Absolutely. Australia, yeah. which it's really good to be able to get to see, isn't it? And, and go yeah. out and chase your dreams and, and sing on the way. Well, you've just, you've just used the lines out of one of my songs that I've written about. <laughs> did I really? Chasing my dreams, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, That was fantastic. Now, did you write that while you were away, Kev? Um, between the festivals, there's quite often... Um, a week or ten days or two weeks or so, the the people who who organise these festivals are pretty are pretty smart. They they do them in clusters, and there might be three or four um, festivals within a few hundred kilometres of each other, and they space them apart by a week or ten days. Right. Um, and quite often you get the chance to to sit down and do a little bit of, of writing there. And and I have done a, a couple uh, of songs when when I've been away. I yep. Um, just last year I was at a festival at Rosewood and some young friends of mine um, had a gig at, um, at, a, at a pub at Albury um, and it was a week and a half between. So I went down to a, a, a little lake on, on the way down towards Albury and camped there for five or six days. Right. And I did write the start of the song there. I didn't get it finished, um, but I wasn't that disturbed about that because yeah. sometimes evidently as you would probably well know it can take you quite a while to, to, to write, get, write get a song right. yeah, and then other, at other times they just flow and they, and they yeah. come quickly well that's right yeah. and I've got two today at that end of the, at both ends of the scale one one that I wrote um, in the uh, in a little camp out, out in the hills at the back of Warhope um, 18 months or so ago right. and, I, and I actually wrote that song because I was going to a um, songwriter's workshop weekend at, um, at the Woody's house and uh, Trinity rang me and said, have you got a song for the, for the workshop? And my answer to that was, no, I don't. She said, well, you better write one. So taking the, <laughs> taking the boss's no orders, taking the boss's <laughs> orders into account, <laughs> <laughs> I sat down and wrote one and that one popped out within a couple of hours. Like, ah, very good. It, it just once I started, I, I realised that Gee, this sort of reflects my life and my attitude a little bit. Yeah. And so it was got a quite an easy song to write. But the other one that I, um, that I wrote down south um, that I was talking about earlier, uh, I didn't finish, as I said. And um, once again, in a discussion with, um, with Trinity, she popped an idea into my head um, about a bridge piece in it. Right. So I went away and some weeks later, 
um, finish that one off. So I'll um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that one today for you as well. Oh, very good. I'm really keen to hear. Yeah. So you'll get a couple that really haven't um, seen the light of day yet. <laughs> but oh, I, that's all right. We, we like nice fresh yeah. fresh songs yeah. here at Two C H R. But we can have a little bit of a talk about um, where I started in the um, in the, in the business. I, yes. I, I'm, I'm strictly a, I call myself a three chord strummer. I, I, I'm not a musician by any, any uh, stretch of the imagination. Uh, I started off at the uh, Still City Country Music Club probably about three years ago now. Um, and I was fortunate enough when I first walked in the door to run into a couple of people that I've known from way, way back. Way back. I actually coached their son at um, soccer when they were under sixes. Ah, right. Uh, with, with one of my sons. <laughs> it's a small That's world, a, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But that made, that made the movement into, because I'd never seen in, in public before, uh, before that. Um, I'd never been on stage, never right. plugged my guitar into an amp or anything like that, never sang into a microphone. Um, so they made the transition into it pretty easy, even though uh, it was difficult and a very nerve-wracking experience to get yeah. up on the stage the first time. Definitely. But from there, I've um, yeah, I settled down pretty well and I don't have a great deal of nerves anymore. Um, but I get around to a few of the country, the local country music clubs these days right. um, when I'm home. Um, so yeah. I'm making the effort right at the moment to uh, show my face at, at a few of them um, because yeah. down the track a little bit I might be back on the road again. Back on the road, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, good on you, Kev. And it's a good time seeing you home to get out to the local local um, clubs and, and say hi to everyone, isn't yeah. it? And it's I always agree. nice to catch up with you, Kev. Too. Absolutely, thank you. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy the um, I enjoy the uh, walk ups. So I even even the festivals that I go to, I'm I'm not that into sitting there doing nothing, listening to other people on the yeah. stage who are getting paid lots of money. But I um, I like to see the walk ups because the, the walk ups to me are for the ordinary guy, the, you know, the, the, the hackers, the, the people who just want to get up there and have a sing. Yeah. Uh, and I that, that, that's what I enjoy. I like listening to. People. And you learn a lot from them. Surprisingly, you might think it's surprising, but you learn a lot from the people who aren't professionals. They're just amateurs getting up there having a go. Yeah, definitely. And it, yeah, it's you definitely learn a lot. Lot, lot just getting up on the stage and and having a sing. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, you do pick a lot up from watching people. Absolutely. Well, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And there are a lot of amazing musicians around. And. And we've got one right here in the studio. <laughs> Great singer. Yeah. You have a few of them that, that um, run programs here, yourself <laughs> included. Oh, thanks, Kev. Mm. <laughs> All right, um, Kevin, um, would you like to play us your original song? Okay, that'll be, that'll be great. We'll see how we go. Um, just a little bit of background on, on, on my songs. I, I, I tend to write them and then put them on the shelf. Right, <laughs> yep. Because I, I'm not that um, I'm not that happy with uh, most of the songs I write. I'm not I'm by no means a songwriter. Um, right. I'm, I'm pretty much uh, comfortable singing other people's songs. But yeah. I have written several songs, uh, and this is one of them. And it's uh, it's a song that I wrote for the uh, workshop at the Woody's house, uh, and I, I wrote it out the back of um, in the mountains out the back of uh, Warhope, and uh, it's called Bent and Twisted.